Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make white chocolate and cranberry cookies. These are soft baked cookies, they're not the crispy kind and they're very very easy to make. You need unsalted butter, dark brown sugar, white sugar, an egg, vanilla extract, cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, pinch of salt, dried cranberries and white chocolate chips. Start off by beating your unsalted butter in a large bowl until it becomes creamy. Make sure your butter is at room temperature. When you press the finger onto the butter, it should leave a very light fingerprint without breaking it. Add in the white and dark brown sugar. Beat on medium speed until everything is incorporated. Once that's done, add in a large egg at room temperature and your vanilla extract as well. Mix all your dry ingredients together and add half of it to your batter. Mix on low until there are no large lumps of flour. Now just add in the remaining half and mix again. Now our cookie dough is basically done so we want to add in the toppings. We have white chocolate chips and dried cranberries. You could also use dark chocolate chips mint chips, uh, raisins, dried blueberries, or you can leave the topping out and make plain cookies. Once you've given the dough a well mix, wrap it with cling wrap, then put it into the freezer for at least two hours. After two hours, remove your cookie dough from the freezer and let it sit for 15 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and grease or line a baking sheet. Now divide your dough into a few equal portions. Your dough might be a bit crumbly now, don't worry, just warm it up with your hands until it comes together. When your dough is smooth enough, roll them into little balls and place them onto a lined or greased baking sheet. Press gently with your fingers to flatten the dough. Now pop them into your preheated oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Your cookies will look very soft when they're just out of the oven, almost like they're not done yet. But don't worry, that's how they are, just let them sit on the baking sheet for around 5 minutes. Then transfer the cookies to a cooling rack to let them cool completely. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this recipe out yourself. It's a very easy one and even beginners will have no problem making it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more recipes, please visit and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!